Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to some of our international fans out there. Uh, if you're on Facebook, good. Well, you, well, we have fans all over. Twitterverse, WordPress, Magento, YouTube, everybody out there in the open source community. Hello. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over how to optimize your, web, your WordPress page speed by compressing your media library folder. Sounds like a mouthful. Well, what do I mean? This is in search engine optimization. What could help in your page rank is how fast your page loads. So if you're loading under if you're loading under six seconds, that's pretty good. If you're above that, if you're around seven, eight percent, nine percent, I've seen cases of 10, 12 percent, your page is loading too slow. And one of the major, besides good scripting, one of the major, major, major culprits of slow page speed is images. So if you go into your WordPress media library, which I have already done, this is just an example website we'll use. This website here has 148 images. Each image, on typical, on average, you're looking at three, between three and five uh, megabytes on average I would say three megabytes three and a half megabytes per image you'll see and that's typical because JPEG files especially just weigh so much in the computer world um, in the world of web programming there's just a lot going on you know all the, uh, these pixels and everything's pixelated in the image there's just there's a lot that's going on that the computer needs to, to digest so they're huge files so the solution that we have here is twofold. And one of them, and we'll discuss this in the tutorial, is to compress your images in your cPanel, which is the back end of your website. So your domain name forward slash cPanel. So you have to have cPanel to do this. If you have if you have a uh, web hosting firm, if you're using web hosting from One in One, GoDaddy, uh, some of the big ones, they should have cPanel. Ninety percent of the web has cPanel, so you shouldn't have any problem there. Type in your domain name forward slash cPanel, C P A N E L, just like that, and you should get access to your cPanel. You can log in with your credentials. If you don't know how to do that, call your uh, web host company if you have it I run on a private server but run on your uh, call your uh, web hosting company and they'll tell you uh, what your login credentials are for that because to sign up for that you had to have that so getting back to the tutorial so these are the these are this is the way we're gonna tackle it we're gonna compress our, our upload or image library here and we're going to use this plugin so that in the future when we do um, upload images they're automatically compressed now when you're compressing Im an, an image you're smushing it basically like what this plugin does so you just optimize your website improve the performance of it and don't get yourself weighed down by just all the content all the image and media uh, content that you put onto the website to make your website look pretty and we want that but we also want the page speed and we also want our websites especially our WordPress websites to be search engine optimized so to do this we're gonna need if you're using Google Chrome I highly recommend it I'm using a Mac so if you have a Mac great but if you have Windows you can follow on it follow along as well but uh, you want to make sure you have your cPanel open your media library in uh, WordPress, uh, sorry, in WordPress open, you want to make sure you have, the, if you go to WordPress.org, the plugin WPMU de uh, dev, WP smush it, or you can just search for it in the plugin directory here in WordPress. And if you, I believe if you type in smush it, let's go add new probably just easier to install it from the plugin directory if you go smush it should be the first one that comes up 
Yeah, so there you have it. It's right there in the plugin directory. All right. Or you can always download it and then compress it and then upload it into the WordPress file. It's just probably uh, uh, your WordPress website. It's probably just easier to do it this way. So we'll cancel out of this. So again, if you have cPanel, make sure you go to your file manager. How you get to your file manager is when you log into cPanel on your home page. At the top left-hand corner will be a search box. Just just search file manager and the file manager icon will come up just like this and it'll bring you here. So the public HTML you want to make sure is always clicked and then we're going to look for our WP content folder which is right here. This is where your images are stored and then uploads. The subfolder uploads, WP content and uploads is where your images are stored. So we're going to tackle this head on. So this is where, this is the file where all your images are stored. And we're going to compress this file so that we can download it onto our computer. So let's compress this file. Okay. So it's telling you it's going to compress it and it's going to give you an ability now to download it onto the computer. Let's close that so it's been compressed. So once you do that, okay, you want to hit reload and you'll see the zip file there. Now if you're using Chrome, just double tap on that and it'll download it right to your computer. I have it set up so that it goes on my desktop so I can find it. So again, if you're using a Mac, you're just gonna click on that like this and show it in Finder. And once you get it in Finder, you're gonna drag this and put it right on your desktop just like so. We're gonna minimize these windows and now we have it on our computer. This is where all, this is where your image up, this is where your media library is basically. So let's get some information on it. If you're in a Mac, you just right click and you get some information. It's 26.4 megabytes. So that's a, it's a pretty big file. You know, I've seen some as big as a gig and if you're blogging a lot trust me you'll, you can get there <laughs> it's not a problem <laughs> especially if you have images and media overall so we're gonna if you're in a Mac again double tap on this and it'll turn it into a folder it'll unarchive it now there are a lot of image compressors out there we just toss this so we don't get confused and empty the trash Now, there are a lot of image uh, compressors out there. I, I, I like Image Optim. You use it across both uh, multiple uh, uh, platforms. Uh, Windows, Mac, whatever. The, the two common ones. And you can just, the thing that I like about it is you don't have to open the folder here and download and go into each subfolder and put it in here. You can just dump the whole folder in there. And it'll start compressing. So remember, we said this, This uh, if you have a Mac, one of the advantages you can see, you can get the information on the folder. And this is saying, compress, this file was 26 megabytes. But with everything, with all the images, sort of unwrapped at 711 megabytes right now. You can see it compressing. You can see it working now. You can see this number going down. So it's working. And this is, I mean, you can see it at work here. If you look up here, I mean, you're getting 58% compressions, 12%, 25%, 37%, 12%, 80%. I mean, these are huge files, and they're just compressing them, 48%. 37%, 28%. So this is pretty good. <clears throat> it's going to pretty much go through every image that's in this folder, that's in your WP Uploads folder, and, and, and just basically smush it. So we'll see that working here.
And when it's a green light, that means it's working. So while that's taking place right there, I wanted to show you some other things. A great web diagnostic tool you can use to determine the speed of your website, to grade your website, test page speed, GT metrics. So in essence, you would put in your website domain here. So let's try mine. Go pry wet. So it'll analyze your website and it'll give you an idea of how fast your page is loading and it'll grade it. Okay, so we got an A. Anything here, anything here less than a D is bad, but the page speed is an A, so that's excellent. I've done this process. Uh, the process with this, uh, we're going through right now before, so so this is good. If you have anything in here that's a D or less, it's pretty bad. So it's just telling me some things I need to do, which is easy. I have a plugin to do that. Image dimensions we can work on, but it'll give you a detailed uh, it'll give you in detail the things you need to work on. If you don't understand some of the terminology, if you just click on it, on these little links right here, it'll tell you what they mean. So for anybody that's a newbie out there and unsure of what all this means, you can click on each button and it'll tell you exactly what it means. So we did pretty well. Our company website did pretty well. So this is still working here in the background. Again, this uh, this program here is called Image Optin. Okay, so it'll compress your folders, your mammoth, your big files from your cPanel account, your cPanel file manager, your WP uploads of folders, and it'll just smush it basically, compress it. So this is almost done here. And it's just finishing up. All right. So this looks to be about done. Quite the savings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compress this file to upload it back again onto the website. So we can extract it onto the website and replace the current folder that's up there. Which we, which we compressed and reformatted it and then compressed again. So if you're on a Mac, that's easy. You know how to compress a folder. You just go left click, sorry, right click, and then compress. So you'll get that. Now we go back into our cPanel we're going to upload that file we just compressed. Just click on that. I'll delete this first. Sticky.
Now, depending on the file size, when you upload it, this is 26 megabytes. Sometimes in cPanel, if it's over, if it's over uh, 64 megabytes, 68 megabytes, I think it is with cPanel, you'll have to use an FTP client, a file transfer uh, protocol. But we won't need to in this case because it seems to be uploading fine. It's only 26 compressed. It's only 26 megabytes. So we won't need to do anything further, anything more technical. So just give it give it time to upload. This could take some time. All right, so this is saying it's complete now. So we're gonna go back to the file manager and you can see the file there. Just reload it, you'll see the file there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this file right here. And just say yes. Then you hit the reload button. When you hit the reload button, it's going to come up with this right here. This Mac, if you're using a Mac, it's going to say Mac OS X. You can delete that. Just say yes, and you can delete that. So this right here is the newly compressed folder that we just created. So this went out at 711 megabytes and it came back at 26 megabytes. So we saved quite some space there, compressed. Now another thing you want to make sure you check is the permissions. Make sure that they're at 7, 5, and 5. You just want to go down the list. All right. So everything's working. Now, you want to make sure, this is another important step, you want to make sure that you go into your WordPress media library and make sure that's still there. It's just to make sure you didn't make any mistakes and it's still here. It weighs a lot less, but it's still here. All right. So we did it the correct way. Now we're going to install the plug the plugin. So now that we did that on the server end, we're going to 
add this plugin, smush it, so that any time now we upload an image or any kind of media into your WordPress media library, it'll automatically compress it. So you won't have to do that all the time. Because, you know, it. you got to have some technical know-how to do that, but that's just to get it out of the way, to get things to get things started before you use this plugin because the plugin can't go in and smush everything that you already have in the file efficiently as that is this method that we use with the server so you won't have to do this often at all you'll just use this plugin right here and you'll install it so you're gonna activate this plugin You're just gonna find the set find it and then find the settings. So we have here, and we're gonna go to the settings. So you're gonna go settings and then you're gonna go media, and you're gonna make sure that this right here is selected. To automatically process on upload, it'll compress your files. And you could just leave everything else here the way it is. So just leave everything here, but make sure this is checked. So you won't have to do this all the time, this method. So you save the changes. And we're done. So we're going to delete our cache, and then we're going to log out of the system. We're going to test the page speed on this with GT metrics. See what we need to improve. See if that helped. So we will go to GT metrics again and we'll type in the site, the test site that we use to do this. Let's just check out the page speed, see if that improved it. I know before we were loading at around 12 seconds. So let's see, let's see if compressing those uh, images did anything to the page speed. All right, so it improved it. So we're loading now at four seconds. This right here was a high priority, optimizing the images, and we got an A for that. So they're, they're telling you the things that we need to change right here. And this is all web tool. This is all, uh, sorry, advanced stuff right here that I'm aware of that I need to, that I need to do. But this is just a test site. There's a lot of, we just use this as a, sort of like a dummy site to test our uh, plugins and things of that nature. So this is all scripting stuff that uh, I can take care of. But for the most part, it improved. Four seconds is pretty good. Now, Pingdom is another one. Pingdom is a... Is a it's a it's a uh, website monitoring actually one of ping well, pingdom is a uh, website monitoring company but they also do page speed tests so you can check it there too they're a little they're a little uh, uh, less let's say uh, stringent in terms of like grading like GT metrics is like they'll hit you you know for everything but let's see how this did here pingdom is another one tools.pingdom.com or just Google pingdom we'll see how this loads here alright so it gave it an 82 your website is faster than 55 percent so it improved it went from like 12 what 13 seconds to 2.81 seconds now let's try it again 
tell you even where like it's testing from. So okay, so the same thing. So your website is faster than 72% of all websites, and the grade it gave it was 82. So this is actually a pretty big improvement. So as you can see, by just compressing images in your cPanel, where your WP content is, and installing that plugin will help you improve your page speed for search engine optimization. So thank you for following along. You can follow us at GoPryWeb on Twitter. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like, or tell your friend about our, web, our uh, Facebook page. Thank you so much, and happy selling.